Hey guys, what's going on? Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball, and today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and a quick review of the new Die Axis goggles. All right, guys, first off, I'm gonna pull these things out of the box. I'll go over the price point. These are brand new on the market. Uh, they do retail at $99.95, so 100 bucks, and these bad boys can be yours. So let's pull these on out of here, set the box off to the side. These are the new Die Axis goggles. The first thing I noticed from the outside is going to be the titanium mirrored lens that these come stock with right out of the box. Normally these lenses, I mean, if you wanted to buy a mirrored lens, die stuff, 35 to 40 bucks for a lens. So I like that it comes stock out of the box with the lens. Uh, second thing I noticed from the actual, uh, from my view is it does come with new dual layered foam it's gonna provide a little bit more comfort. It's gonna help uh, absorb some of the sweat uh, in the goggle, and I think that's a great feature uh, since they've been bringing this back. Outside as well, this new goggle does come in the black color. It does come in red, blue, and green, so currently there are four new colors available of this goggle. Next, I'm gonna go to the actual, these are called, they're new, they're soft ears, but they're called multi-ported soft ears, which, uh, means that you're gonna be able to hear a lot better. There's a lot of holes in the actual side of the new earpieces. Even behind the strap, there's more venting back here and up above as well. So if you're trying to hear your teammates on the field, these earpieces will certainly help you out with that. Next thing I'm going to go over is going to be, there's a patent pending on these dual turning lens locks. They're called the quarter turn lock here. So basically, if you want to pop this lens out, you hold the strap here, pivot it upwards, do the same on the other side, and then these will push straight on out. Watch the other video I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm gonna do a lens changing video if you need to see further instructions. But this is their patent pending quarter turn actual lock in strap. And uh, hopefully it should make for an easy uh, lens change for you guys. So uh, lastly, I'm gonna go over is their like silicone tacking ballistic strap on the back. So there's actual, um, it's, it's actually pretty sticky on the back of this strap. So when it's on the back of your head, this goggle isn't sliding around on you or moving around at all. Flip it back around, uh, front, the actual front face of the goggle, there's a ton of venting holes. A, to reduce fogging, and B, to help you get your voice out there on, on the field so your teammates can hear you, and uh, there's no issue with that with echoing. Other than the venting in the front of the goggle, there is also a ton of vents up top to allow your actual heat to escape so your, your thermal lens that comes stock in this goggle is not fogging up. Once again, a lot of venting up top and also in the front of the goggle as well. Other than that, guys, I would say that this goggle for the $99.95 price point is a good goggle. Uh, we're we're going to put it to the test here at Lone Wolf Paintball and see what it can withhold sweat-wise, how the foam holds up, how comfortable they are. And uh, lastly, I do want to say that these goggles do have a smaller profile uh, for the smaller framed guys out there face-wise. The, uh, these are going to be for you and also the younger crowd. The younger kids, these straps can go extremely tight on the back, so you can fit, I mean, a tiny face inside of these goggles. I think Dye did a great job of reintroducing these. And that's a quick overview. These are the new Dye Axis goggles. Uh, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also put in the comments below what other goggles you'd like to see us do a review on. Thanks guys and have a good one.